How's it going everybody? My name is Adam the Beast and welcome to a series I like to call Doggo Tales. This is a series where I feel a random story from my life that really has no meaning and is just absolutely random. But anyway, welcome to today's episode called <coughs> Alright hey guys, welcome to today's story. The clips on the screen do not matter, so feel free to minimize them and continue on or just have them playing in the background or watch them if you really want to. So this story is kind of about how I got my catchphrase. If you've watched me for a while, you know I started saying keep rolling in the outro of almost every video I've done. I was doing research literally just before I recorded this, seeing what video I started saying keep rolling in. And I'm not sure if that video is any longer on the channel. I'm pretty sure it was a beastly break, which is a series that I started doing as like my series on the channel and I kind of just realised how cringy it was while I was watching it today. But I'm pretty sure I started saying it in one of the episodes but I couldn't find it in that so I'm not entirely too sure which one. If, if I do then I'll I'll let you know on I, I don't know. If, if, it, if I do then you know I think I may have an idea which video now but I haven't watched it in a while so yeah. But this kind of the story is going to explain how I thought that catchphrase and why it's like why it's so like easy to remember but meaningful at the same time I guess. So it started um when I was doing a beast break video. Let me click on that beast break on here while I'm doing this video, try and find it because I'm pretty sure I know which one it was. I'm pretty sure it was number eight. I'm not entirely too sure but I felt like it was number eight. I think I found it. I found the clip where I say it. Honestly, I was thinking it was number three or number five of my um, DC breaks for some odd reason, but it wasn't. I think I found the exact moment where I say it. What was it? Yeah, I think it, I think it's number eight. I'm just gonna say it's number eight because I know in the intro of that. I did like a weird intro where I would, like have a little beat and then random clips of the video play. One of them I see keep bowling. I feel like there might have been that. I don't think it was number seven. Cause number seven I was around Jacob's house. That was when I went to his house like a couple years back. This was recorded like three years ago. More than three years ago. That's scary thing about that. But yeah, I feel like that's where I started saying Beastie Breaks. Um, not Beastie Breaks, I mean keep bowling. I was thinking one night, I think before I recorded that video. Every YouTuber has the kind of catchphrase that they have. Like, obviously, you guys may know some examples. I can't. I mean, I mean, I guess PewDiePie's got Royfist and his intro and stuff. But I, I kind of feel like I need a catchphrase. So I, I thought I don't want a generic catchphrase that's just funny and that's it. I want one that kind of has meaning behind it. And then I thought about it for a while, and I thought since it's to do with vlogging kind of thing, that's what the brief breaks were about mainly. I want something to do with like cameras, because I use cameras whenever I'm recording. Right now, I'm using a microphone, but face camera, I use a camera. When I'm doing vlogs, I have a camera. So I thought, people, when they're recording something, and it doesn't go to plan, but someone improvises and makes it there, the guy with a camera, the director's like, right, cameraman, keep rolling. So I thought, that's a pretty good one. And I, that's where I basically got it from. But I was thinking, it's more than just saying, keep rolling, it's kind of meaningful as well, like whenever you're like having a bad day, so say you went to work and your boss yelled at you and you didn't have like all your lunch with you or you were a bit late to work and you didn't get an assignment finished on time, you can just think, as long as I keep on rolling I can keep doing this, I can keep pushing myself, it's, it's kind of a motivational thing as well that I've started using when, I, when I've had like bad days, like for example if I was editing a video and well actually I've had this problem. But I was recording a Smite video, well not Smite, no, Smash Bros video with one of my friends, one of my new friends that I made, um, we were playing, and I realised my audio wasn't in it, so all you could hear was him and the game. So I improvised in that video, I, I kept rolling with the video after I realised it was unedited, or had and my audio, cut a bit of the clips, then I'm, I'm currently, right now, still sending clips. 1.6 gigabyte thing, but I'm sending it to Jacob, 
was on his flock, so check him out, he does Smashables. I'm sending him the video file, and he, um, I asked him yesterday if he could, um, like, do, what's it called, commentary, if you commentate over top, and he said he'd be down back, because he loves commentating, so that's always good, and I can't commentate to save my life. If you've seen my Smite video from, like, three years ago, I can't commentate to save my life. But Jacob knows all the terminology and stuff, so I asked him, and he was like, sure, he'll be down for that. So that's probably going to be the next video after this. I also have another um, video coming up, but we'll talk about that at the end, like I normally do. But yeah, I kept rolling with the video, and I kept pushing myself to make it a video, because the clips in that were really good. Like, some of the games we had were really funny, and really, like, professional. Kind of. I, I mean, they were good for what I can do and what he can do. For our skill level, they were pretty good. Some of the plays were pretty good. I got a few crazy spikes in there, you know. Yeah, also keep rolling is kind of like, if you're doing something and then you lose motivation, for example, for me that would be like, working on a video, I lose inspiration and I'm just like, I don't want to edit anymore. If I think to myself, you just keep rolling at them. This, this, you record this video for a reason. Like, that's, that's the kind of thing that links in with my thing. Keep rolling, and then it's kind of like for the viewers, because I say keep rolling to you guys, which are the viewers, and I'm thinking, if I record a video and say to myself, keep rolling, I've got to remember, I'm making this video for you guys. If I didn't, like, there's a reason I recorded the video. It's because I want to make content for you guys. And if I didn't think the video was good, I'd just instantly pin it and just forget about it. If I started working on a video and lose inspiration, I've got to think, I'm doing this for you guys. I want to give you guys some content. Something to make your day better. That's what I do is my hobby. It's not really a career yet, but hopefully it can be a career. Maybe just a hobby forever. It's fine, though. Really, I, I just like making you guys happy. I like making people happy. I'm just a happy guy. I'm always really positive. Like, if you meet me in person and you get to know me, I'm one of the most positive people you possibly ever meet. I, I've, I'm not saying that egotistically. I'm just saying that I've heard that from some of my friends. They're just saying I'm just a really positive guy. Out of my group of friends that I used to hang out with in college, I was the positive one who would always make people happy just by being there. My mere presence is just a positive thing. And that sounds really egotistic now that I've said out loud, but you know what I mean. I mean, some of you guys may have friends that are, like, always, like, gloomy. I'm the complete opposite. I may act gloomy in some of my videos. I may be gloomy sometimes. When I'm with friends, I'm just optimistic, always happy, and just me. You know, you guys pretty much do my personality at this point just from watching videos, like, some people put on fake personas when they're doing videos, like, for example, actually I don't know anyone, but some people may act really different in videos than they are in real life. Me, I just, I style like that. I put on a fake persona. Jacob never did. He, he was always just him. Like, him in his videos is how he is in real life, because he's a great lad. But I kind of want to act like another YouTuber, but I just, I think it's kind of, it's kind of links in, because I'm pretty sure when I started saying keep rolling, I decided this is my catchphrase. I'm going to act more like me, personality-wise, in my videos. That's kind of how that rant I just went on there fits into the story, because, as I thought, this is my catchphrase, keep rolling. I'm going to I'm gonna make, trademark this and keep this catchphrase. And since it's my catchphrase, if I act like another YouTuber that I used to do, I used to pretend to be like them, act like them, then this catchphrase doesn't make sense, because this catchphrase is personal to me. I need to start acting a bit like, a bit more like me when it comes to my videos. That's kind of how, I don't know, it's just kind of a big thing, this keep rolling. It's kind of a big part of my life, and I'm not going to continue to say it for all eternity. I just think it's, it sums me up pretty well, like, having bad times, but then coming back from them, just keep rolling through them until good stuff happens. That's kind of how, this, like, how that works. I just, keep rolling through all the bad times, you guys should take that as well, whenever I say keep rolling. Because like, some people watch videos, I, I know I watch videos when I'm like depressed and sad, I just watch a bunch of YouTube videos, and someone like me, who will say keep rolling, like a catchphrase that's motivational, will definitely help people through like, negative times. So, yeah, if you ever feeling down, um, make sure to check out my video, I'm sorry, this is a really weird part, but yeah, just remember to keep rolling. You can roll through all the bad times and eventually you get to the good times. It's like when you're playing through the game, you go through all the easy bot enemies and you get to the fun parts, which are like the bosses, depending on the game, of course. 
Yeah, that's kind of all I want to say for this story. It's just kind of what keyboarding means and how it's motivational and how I thought of it. And now we're going to get on to a bit of the news because, as you know, I do like news in this, in Dog of Tales at the end of it, Dog of Tales story time. I've actually got, as I said, I've got a video that Jake is going to commentate over. He's going to comment, play, uh, I think, Monday. Right now it's Sunday, the 28th of July. He's going to record on Monday, probably send it Monday. And I'm going to have to check through it, and I'll probably get up Tuesday or Wednesday. I've also pre-recorded a video for Christmas time. I thought of a random meme that I want to make, because, you know, I did the um, Oreo meme recently. Well, not recently, like a couple of months ago, but I made one. I made, I made a weird meme YouTube poop kind of thing that's like 20-something second long for Christmas, but... Yeah, I don't know, I just felt, I just thought of a funny idea that kind of worked out, it's kind of decent, I guess, it's, I don't know, it'll probably get a few laughs, it's, it's a short meme kind of thing, but, yeah, I've also got that out for Christmas time, so be sure to check that out when it comes to Christmas, if you remember, I don't know. I've also got, um, well, I've got another Smash Bros. video as well, along with the one that Jake is commentating, I've got a montage of my superhero persona, because quite a few YouTubers have, you know, like, superhero characters, for example, Thanos Gaming has um, Fat Owl, or it used to be Night Owl, but now we have Fat Owl. Patriot of the has Baku, and Dahi the Nogla has um, Paper Bag Man. My superhero persona, if you don't know, he's called Captain Justice. I might have to do a video on him explaining who Captain Justice is. It's kind of a meme from high school, and I made him into a Smash Bros. character. He used to be, he originated as a Gang Beast character, who, had, who was a mixture of Scoop from Awesome Noughts. And just like a generic superhero, so he Scoop in Awesome Horse is like a warrior kind of guy, but he Captain Justice is more of a superhero form of him. And in uh, in Game you can get like a poop slash ice cream head piece. So they kind of look similar, it's just a swell. And I always used to call him Captain Justice as my superhero, so I made him in Smash Bros. and I'm making a full on meme Jacob Star montage kind of thing for him. I also have some other videos, but I don't really know if I should upload them, because I did one with um, Steven, if you remember Catnip from, or him from my Gangbees video, I did a video with him on Flipping Towers, but it was kind of lagging on his end, so I may try and edit that, I mean I've done an intro for it, and I'm really kind of chuffed with the intro, the music and the clips are good in it, but I, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to edit that, but yeah, you've got two special videos coming up after this, um, maybe some Minecraft, because I want to do some more Minecraft, like an actual series. I might have to get some friends and make a realm for a bit, or go on a server. But yeah, that's something to look forward to. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like down below. Comment if you've got any ideas about any other stories you want to hear, or if you want to hear the story of Captain Justice, or if you've got any games and or videos you want me to react to. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And as this video, the moral of this video is just to keep rolling, and Peace out. Oh, hello there. Oh, some more, some more tech offices. This is the year after the other one, but different one. In this video, we were getting to see another home store in a single player mode. The player shows us around and um, feeds his wolves. Somewhere in his video, his wolves are crying. It sounds like someone set the dogs on fire. Oh my goodness, no. As the player went outside.